Setting a tree from GKI Bethlehem Lighting is quick and easy. Select the location for the tree. Be sure the chosen spot is a level surface and near a power source. You'll need an additional extension cord that must be rated for at least 5 amps or more and includes a three-prong grounded plug. Remove the tree sections and hardware from the carton. Cut any strapping holding the tree to the box. Be careful that you don't cut any of the pre-lit light wires. The following items are provided. Top tree section, middle tree section, bottom tree section. This section has the widest and longest branches of the three sections. Quick set tree stand with three to five triangular bolts, depending on the tree size. Extra replacement bulbs and plug fuses. Bulb tester. If the tree is over seven and a half feet, it may have more than three sections. Each section will be marked in the order of assembly. Follow the same directions for the additional sections. Carefully unwrap the bottom tree section and hardware. Be careful not to damage the light wires wrapped around the branches. If the wire does get caught, gently untangle it. Do not try to forcibly move it. Place the stand in the chosen location. Place hands at the outside of the stand near the vinyl tips and away from the center where there are moving parts. Twist open until the legs are evenly spaced. When the legs are extended and aligned, there will be small cutout circles visible at the top of the pole. Screw the triangular bolts into the circles. Do not fasten tight until the tree is inserted into the stand. The tree has bristles and tips just like a fresh cut tree. Cotton gloves can be worn to avoid scratching sensitive skin while shaping the tree. Remove the protective cap from the bottom section of the tree. This section has the widest and longest branches of the three sections. Place the bottom section of the tree, pole end first, into the stand. Be sure the tree pole rests all the way through to the bottom of the stand tube. Tighten the three triangular bolts. Make sure the bottom section of the tree is level before tightening the three screws. Let the branches fall into place. Light cords are located between the branches. This is to prevent stress on the light sets as the branches are lowered into position. Insert each stack of light cords into opposite ends of the multi-tap extension cord and plug the multi-tap into any convenient standard outlet or UL approved extension cord that is rated for at least 5 amps or more. Shape the bottom row of branches. Start with the branches located near the pole first. Separate the branch tips to form a V-shape. Alternating V-shapes as you move forward on the branch. Angle the tips slightly upward like they are reaching toward the sun. Then consecutively proceed to the next higher row. Place the next largest tree section into the top of the bottom section, which is the section with the largest branches. Align the pole groove in the middle section with the bump in the bottom section. Always be sure to place the indentation on the insides of the poles correctly, so the pole slides completely into place. Let the branches fall into place. Insert the cluster of light cords close to the trunk of the tree and plug the lights into both ends of the multi-tap cord. Shape the middle section using the same alternating method of V-shapes. For trees taller than seven and a half feet, there may be an additional section. Place and shape the tree section the same way as the other sections. Open and shape the top section prior to placing it on the top of the middle section. Just like in nature, these top branches should be angled toward the sun. Run the two light cords close to the trunk between the same branches as the upper and lower sections and plug into the multi-tap extension cord affixed to the middle section. If needed, adjust the tree so that it is in a vertical position by adjusting the three triangular screws towards the top of the tree stand. Make final adjustments by spreading the tips randomly on each branch and section to suit your taste. Take a moment to step back and view the tree completely assembled. There may be gaps that seem unpleasing. Simply arrange the branches to fill. The tree is ready for decorating.